Um, my name is Nicholas Gladys, um, and I go to University of Dallas. It's my last year, third year. It's very um, personal. I don't separate um, artwork from my life very much, so the artwork naturally kind of represents myself in many ways. But ultimately, I, I like it to be very contemplative. So when I start with an idea, it's, it's kind of, it comes from memory, dream, memories, dreams, um, life experiences, things like that, um, psycho, psycho, psychological states of myself, um, how I'm feeling at the time, or um, how I felt at a certain time that I want to remember. Those works are from a series called um, Among Fortune Ghosts uh, that I showed um, last year, and a lot of those pieces are um, kind of about escape and a coping with death and uh, faith or no faith, kind of dealing with, with that issue um, with myself. For um, pieces that I want to feel more mortal or fragile, in a sense, uh, I use the Kozo, the Japanese fiber. It's actually very strong paper, but the appearance that it gives is, is soft and um, translucent. It allows light to pass through nicely, um, so it can give that, provide that quality. Yeah. I, I feel like that um, each object has a kind of spirit, and you can sense a spirit in an object based on time and process. So if you see an object that is um, store-bought paper, I feel it's so much different than, um, sense, than seeing an object that's um, made from start to finish by the maker completely uh, kind of endows the object with a sort of um, soul. Make Japanese paper um, using kozo, the mulberry bark, and I, I go from the um, branch to the paper, so I, I do the whole process. Um, it's a pretty long process of like cooking and picking the little impurities out and beating it, and then that creates more translucent paper, so I can use that in um, some of the creatures that I make.